we started, like you hated entrepreneurship, you hated the stress of it. And like, I've really started to push you when we were younger into like, Hey, this is going to be our life. Yeah. I didn't really have a choice. No, I was like, this is it. Like I'm not having a job. I'm not, I'm just, I'm unemployable. I knew this from a very young age. You should told me that before I married you. I, I'm, sh- I'm sure I did. I don't think so. Oh, well, you begged me for seven years to marry you. So I was young. I didn't know oh, any better. You didn't know any better. <laughs> and you're like, shit or get off the pot. And then I'm like, I had right. a baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the LO Code podcast, where we talk about everything from marketing to just general loan bullshit. In today's episode of the LO Code Podcast, we're going to be talking about working as a husband and wife team. Just don't do it. No, just kidding. Let's talk about it. Yeah, it's magical. <laughs> <laughs> um, so many pros, so many cons. So many pros, so many cons. Um, we actually have had a lot of couples reach out to us and they're like, oh my gosh, how do you do it? And I think they're- We hide the knives. Yeah. That's how we uh, work as my husband and wife team. Goodness. You got to hide the knives. I think they're looking for us to like be like, oh no, it's not- crappy like it's great it's rainbows and sunshine all the time you're just doing it wrong but that that's not the case um so (laughs) there's many things that go into it but defining clear roles is so important we fought for so long because this is your responsibility and this is my responsibility and as we evolved things just naturally changed A little Mm -hmm. bit like once, you know, I started off as an assistant, not even as an LOA, just like keeping, you know, making sure that he was checking in with people that he needed to. Like Ryan was the loan officer. I was just the assistant, you know, follow up, sending gifts and cards like that was my only job. Right. And then I, you know, started to become an LOA and I quickly became a loan officer. Um, And most of that, like we had touched on it in the last episode, there's a lot of ego involved and between him and I you know we're both dominant personalities and he was getting the credit for everything because he was the loan officer and I'm like this dude couldn't calculate income if his life depended on it (laughs) and so I was so frustrated and it was a really big ego thing and I think we still fight about that sometimes because we're like I did this I did this Right. But, you know, we did have to define our roles. Yes. And as I learned things and started taking things over and he had to shift, we would have to, you know, we'd start fighting again and we'd have to go back and say, okay, now this is what you're doing. This is what I'm doing. Right. That was huge. Yeah. And it's just a constant learning process. So like if you're both good at the same thing, it's probably not going to work. Like, don't even try it. Like, if you both are trying to do the exact same thing in the business, yep. you guys are going to butt heads the whole time. But, yeah. like, for us, it's, like, sales marketing, operations back end. And so, like, yep. you did the back end, I did the front end, and then that allowed us to have that separation of roles. Mm-hmm. And then just defining of, like, I need you to do this, you need me to do that. And, like, we, <laughs> we still struggle on, like, well, I don't want to do it that way, but I was, like... We're like, well, I need you to do it that way because it helps me in my process. I think our our biggest struggle still after all of these years is the way that we like to communicate. I like everything to be emailed to me. Mm -hmm. I want details in email because once I get an email, it's a running to-do list. I use my email as a running to-do. When I'm done with something, I either delete it or I put it in a folder. And that's how I know that it's been taken care of. He'll send me a text message. Um... He'll put, you know, some things in an email. He'll, you know, Instagram messenger, Facebook messenger. And I don't ever know what it is. So I'm going back checking all of these things. And I'm like, you didn't even tell me about this one person that you talked to. Like, so that's, I Anything think. Anything messaging, I'm in. Like, you get me, bam, I'm on it. <laughs> if it's email, I, I may just And I'm like the queen of email. Don't call me. Don't text me. Email me. And I hate email. I hate yeah. It. So I think that's probably our biggest barrier still. Mm. The communication, the community, how you that, want to be communicated, how we like to be communicated with, right? Um, and I'm just very direct too, so I'll just be like, "Hey, ABC needs to get done, thanks." And you're like, "Excuse me, yeah, <laughs> what did you say to me?" I'm like, "Yeah, X Y Z needs to get done, thanks." Do it yourself. And you're like, uh, <laughs> "You don't tell me what to do." Well, it's been now that we're transitioning, you know, more into the LO code versus just originating. We are once again relearning mm. these things. So that's been a big 
changed too, where we, we actually had a really good rhythm going right. um, for a while. He used, he started using remarkable. Um, so he would write notes down. He likes to write, I type. So he would write notes down and then I would just go check his notes. Yes. And then that was our, that was his way and our way of communicating. And that really, you know, helped us out. But now that we're doing different things, we're having to relearn communication styles together. And, and what I'm excited about is we have our new project management software. And so now we can create a project for you, a project for me. Yeah, I don't use it at all. I hate well, it. We're, I hate it. <laughs> we're, we're, I think it's something we should try. Where, it is. It is. And I, where you can upload tasks and that yeah. instead of you saying you need to do this, like you can just have tasks in there and then you can manipulate those tasks based off of like how you want to organize Can I it. message in there and say, no, I'm not doing this? No. Oh. <laughs> not an option. <laughs> I'll send it off to the assistant. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, e- so yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just like anything else. Like you're going to scream sometimes, you're going to yell sometimes and you just have to like go back and just realize, okay, this is business. I think you have to have really thick skin to -hmm. work with your spouse. I know a lot of people can't do it. And we say some nasty things to each other sometimes. Not you. Not me. Oh, oh, please. Like I'm the only one. But uh, like we might be mad and then we'll go walk off and pout about it. And then we'll go have lunch together and it's like it never happened. Um, We don't take it personally. so good right now. Don't say that. (laughs) <laughs> I'm supposed to just eat chicken for lunch. I think, I think um, we're going to get fish and chips We might go get this. some fish and chips. Um, so that's definitely, that's definitely, it, you have to be able to pivot from the mean things. And if you cannot, I mean, that's just something that Ryan and I, we've, we're fighters. So a lot of people are like, oh, the Ailers are so sweet. No, we're not. We're really mean to each other. <laughs> and <laughs> it's, it's not mean. It's we always just i mean brutal honesty right it is brutal sometimes brutal honesty we're not afraid to hurt each other's feelings but i think that's also like the key to our marriage i know people that have gotten divorced because they won't talk and then it builds and it builds and it builds and then they hate each other yeah that makes sense instead of hating each other we just say hey i don't like that you do this i think you know and then sometimes you're like well tuck it over it yeah that does (laughs) happen but at least we're voicing it and we know that there are problems so you know, we can do that in the business as well. So even if you're not working with a spouse, you don't need to have brutal honesty with people, but you do need to relay when there are problems. Exactly. And you know, I have to bring it up because I think it has been huge for us is having separate bedrooms has been huge. (laughs) It has been huge. So we have completely different sleep patterns. Yes. Um, and he snores. Mm-hmm. and he rolls around a lot or he'll get he'll be on his phone at two o'clock in the morning because he can't sleep and i'm like oh my god like it was it and was you getting have to have bad. the tv on to go to sleep and that yes. drives me crazy yeah so um, we get separate rooms and everybody was like this well, is your on your way to divorce i think our marriage is like better than it ever has been 100 percent because we i'm not mad we at, live at home <laughs> we work from home yeah our kids are home we have to see each other so like now it's like okay when we're working in our office we have separate offices on separate separate. sides of the house yep we're separate and then when like when we're done watching our shows or hanging out at night we go to our separate room so it's like it's given us the space that we didn't have before because we were literally like i mean there was a time where we were in the same room we worked on the same desk in our little because covid hit and so we couldn't even get out like you know we couldn't even I, do other I things i sing and, and i dance and i goof around while i work so and it drives you loud because i'm on the phone talking to clients and he's shooting a video in the background going woo woo and i'm like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> so it was or i'm just sitting there just like we, singing the we song actually ran away from that house like we didn't even fully pack we got another house and just like started packing up boxes, throwing them in our car. And we, we left to a house that was yeah. twice the size with separate offices because I was like, we're either getting a divorce or like, I don't, there was nothing else at that point. Separate spaces that it's your space is huge. Cause you come and look at some of the stuff I do and you're like, why would you do this to your office? I'm like, cause that's what I want. And you're like, All right, it's your office. Yeah. So now like in the last house, our offices were separate, but on the same wing, they were like next to each other. And now mine is, he has his in the pool house and mine's completely on the other side. Yeah. So So I don't even see him sometimes for like eight hours. It's amazing. We'll just, I usually come bug you. You come bug me. We'll like text each other. Yeah. Like it's actually like real business. Yeah. (laughs) It's, it's, it's worked out huge. And like, cause like I'll go into your space. I'm like, why would you do put that there and do this? And you're like, don't worry about it. It's mine. I'm like, you're right. Yeah. It has nothing to do with me. 
Yeah. You do it exactly the way you want. And you'll ask me like, hey, should I do this? I'm like, no. You're like, well, I'm doing it anyway. I'm like, why do you ask me? You're like, just to confirm that is what I wanted. I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, I have a theory that there's there's certain <laughs> things. If I ask, depending on the answer, I know that I should or should not do it. Because we, sure. we're just so opposite, different in a lot of things. Yeah. But that's I think that's the key to our business success is that you know, my strengths are your weaknesses or things that you just don't even care about and vice versa. Like I don't ever want, I'm never editing a video. I'm never touching it. I send my videos to you to edit. Like, and well, you're team. never going to, yeah, the team. We don't do it. And anymore. you're never going to calculate somebody's income. Like never. you're just never going to do I, it. I said that right from the beginning. Like you're like, I was like, I will never do this. Like I sometimes get to draw a line. Yeah, but you were a loan officer for like not. two years before I joined you. So I'm not really sure how that all I think I've out. only calculated income <laughs> once ever. Like, it's, I'm just not going to do it. No. I knew that going in. I'm You're not so going to do this. I am. I am like, but I think that's important. Like a lot of people that are very successful are set in like, I will do this. I won't do this. And then you have people that will do the things that you won't do. Yeah. Because I know how much that will drive me crazy that I'll end up just not getting anything done because I'm just so, you know, yeah. you just got to know that about yourself. Yeah. And like, so like, and I mean, we're, we've been together for almost 18 years. Sunday will be 18 years. Yeah. That we've been together, married for 11, 12? 11. 11. I think it's 11. So, and we're still learning how to operate because like we've just made so many changes in our life over the course of us being together that every time you make a pivot, then you have to relearn how to work together or do these things or... We don't evolve linearly. Mm-mm. So you might be, you know, evolving in one way and I'm stuck here and mm-hmm. then I start to evolve in one way and you're stuck there and... But I think that's why our marriage lasts is because we we can figure it out together. We might not like it all mm-hmm. the time. And we can yell at each other and get over it. Yeah. You know, and just like sometimes you just got to, and then you're like, you know what? You need to go take a chill pill. Like yeah. we'll tell each other that. Oh, yeah. Go take a chill pill. You need to chill out. Like you're getting stressed out over nothing. Yeah. Like, it's fine. Go. And you're like, We would fine. never talk to anybody else ever the way that we talk to each other. Yeah, we're just straight up. We're just straight up. And a lot of people, like from the beginning of our relationship, they would see us like arguing and, and they're like, oh my God, how we're would We're like, like, don't worry, this is just foreplay. We're like, this is just... <laughs> 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 but that's how, you know, like I've had friends and they're like, I'm so in love with my husband and everything's amazing. And then a month later, they're getting a divorce and I'm like, what happened? Well, I hated this and I hated this. And I hated them. I'm like, did you tell them? About-? No. I, oh, I didn't want to hurt their feelings. A divorce isn't hurting somebody's feelings more than just saying what your problem is. Like, I just don't understand that mentality. That's not the way that I do things. If you don't know that you have a problem, you're never going to be able to get past it. Right. And just some things you're not going to budge on. Like, for me, these ugly shoes. Oh, my God. Those things are just, he wore them out to dinner the other day. I didn't even realize it. I mean, I looked cute. I had on like these leather boot heel things, this cute jacket. these. These things are. And then ugly. I look and he has these slippers on. Yep. I'm just not going to budge on that. You're going to budge on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> this is kind of how it goes. Yeah. But so this is that we wanted to make a separate episode on this, I guess, because so many people just think that we just work so perfectly together and then they feel bad that they're not. Mm-hmm. But that's not the truth of it. There are many times where even I get really frustrated by shooting video and doing all of this. And in the background, he's like nitpicking at things and it's making me nuts and I get really mad and then I can just turn it off and just go. And, and, but like this teaches me to, uh, to get better at things because I'm a perfectionist. And so even as people are watching this right now, so you can see behind her, it's overexposed behind me. Over here, it's overexposed. The, the, He's like messing the with them. Like, let's go. Aren't exactly the way that I want, <laughs> um, because like we want a certain setup, a certain scene. But when it's bright outside and it's not overcast, there's nothing you can do. It's not going to be perfect. Yeah. And so I'm getting better just saying, hey, this is what we have today. The content is way more important than it looks. Do I love it when it looks perfect? Oh gosh, like I see it and I'm like, yes, we nailed it. Yeah, but sometimes it's not going to be perfect. Just like our relationship's not going to be perfect. Our business arrangements aren't going to be perfect. Things are never going to be perfect. So sometimes you're just like, Hey, this is what I got right now. Yeah. Like Let's we, make the best of we, it. We talked about in the last episode, being honest with yourself and putting ego aside. 
get rid of the ego. And I mean, really, that's the a huge thing. Be honest with yourself about what you want in your relationship and what you want. Like, we don't have the perfect relationship by any means. And this is nobody probably, does. No, but it's probably really weird to other people, I think, to see. But you know <laughs> it's what? It's the perception versus reality. But then it's like the realization, like the days that we're firing and we're just in sync, like we get a lot done. Those we get days. a lot done. And so like, that's you another thing too. That. We don't have boundaries when it comes to this stuff with each other. We go out on our date. What do you think we talked about the whole time? We were like masterminding together. Mm -hmm. So, and we don't like, it wasn't like, Oh, I wish we were more romantic. No, that's what we enjoy doing together. I mean, you do wish I was more romantic. Well, it's never going to happen. I just, but if I was like a just little softy, then you'd be bored of me and move on anyway. Yeah. No, I dated a couple of guys that were just like, <laughs> I'm like, Oh, you're boring. So sometimes what you think you want is not actually what you need. Yeah. And that's hard. Too. Yes. Cause I was like, Oh, wouldn't it be great if my wife would just like, just agree with everything I said and was just like, Oh, you're so wonderful. Oh, and I'm like, clean. I'd be so bored too. And then you start stuff fights with me on purpose. Sometimes. Sometimes. I just like to poke the bear. Yeah, I know. Let's just see what kind of mood she's in today so I know how far I can go. Yeah. <laughs> like, ooh, today you, you I need like a... like the chaos. I don't you know, know what you back would do with a, bit. a quiet lady. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Shut up, Ryan. <laughs> what, did, what, did, what did Izzy say? He was like, I can't remember. It was hilarious. That I'm like a nightmare or something? Oh, I know she could be a ni nightmare sometimes, but... God, she's awesome and entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, you know, you like the chaos. Yeah. Yeah. So if he's watching that, then he's going to laugh. Yeah. He probably won't watch. Damn that. you, Izzy. He's too busy. I'm going to send it to him he and better. make him watch it. These are great. These are entertaining. This is, yeah, I'm entertained. So, you know, we'll, we'll end on this, but I thought it was, it was crazy. Like, I love how we just do the back and forth like this. And like our 10 year old only watches shorts on YouTube. Can't do anything for more than 30 seconds. And he watched the whole first episode. Yeah. I was like, that was great. That was entertaining. Yeah. So I that was it. like 35 minutes. Yeah. Too. He watched the whole thing. I was like, wow, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. So I don't know. I think it's fun. Did, were, did we even have any key points in this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But that's uh, it. Communicate I, better. Um, find somebody that, I mean, even if we're not talking about marriage, even if you're looking, you're, you're not even a husband and wife team, but you're listening to this, mm. find yourself a partner, business partner that does not operate the way that you do. Yeah. That's how you should base your, your relationships. Yeah. I think all my relationships, I don't have any friends that are even remotely close to me, my personality. But and, I mean, like that's what I love about it. But if you think about this is when we started, like you hated entrepreneurship, you hated the stress of it. And like, I've really started to push you when we were younger into like, Hey, this is going to be our life. Yeah, I didn't really have a choice. No, I was like, this is it. Like, I'm not having a job. I'm not. I'm just, I'm unemployable. I knew this from a very young age. You should have told me that before I married you. I, I'm, sh I'm sure I did. I don't think so. Oh, well, you begged me for seven years to marry you, so. I was young. I didn't know oh, any better. You didn't know any better. <laughs> and you were like, shit or get off the pot. And then I'm like, All I right. had a baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> Let's either let's move forward or I got to move on. <laughs> but it, I mean, it has worked out. This isn't um, by any means any life that I had planned for myself. It's like so much more than I could have ever anticipated and growing up the way that we did. Because um, people thought it's crazy. I, all, I said I was always going to be successful. Yeah. And people were just like, yeah, whatever. Everybody says that. But like the, the amount of time, I think the, the level of success that I have right now that I'm most proud of is that I work from home. So when my kids go to school and when my kids need me to be there in the middle of the day and when they get home from, I'm there, I'm always here, but I'm making a really good living. And that's not, Ooh, you know, we should, we should deep dive into this on one of our episodes. On what? Just like your, your goals being successful. What does it mean defining it? Yeah. Definitely. And that you know, shifted. Mindset. I always wanted to be rich. And in my world, rich was like make a hundred thousand dollars a year and live in a nice community that had an HOA. Like that was, that was the, the peak of what I thought that I would want. And then we got it and I wasn't happy. Yeah. Isn't it and, great to not have an HOA or neighbors? Well, I do like the HOA, but we don't need one here. But yeah, it's great not having neighbors. But yeah. the, like, I would never have thought that this is that this was attainable right well i think we covered a lot and this could help people so i hope you enjoyed this Hopefully. episode no. um 
What? I said, hopefully, I don't even know. This is a weird episode. Did we even like, was any value there whatsoever? Well, (laughs) I'm sure that people are thinking about doing a husband and wife team or are. This can help put things in perspective for them. How thick skin. Yeah. It's never going to be perfect. And when you see people and you think, oh man, like their life's perfect. They work perfect together. No, no no one knows. It's, it's all like just what you see, but not like what's happening in reality. And so you know, if you are going to be a husband and wife team or you're with somebody, just know that there's going to be a lot of ups and downs and learning curves that come with it and figuring out how you both interact and what's going to be the best. So, so yeah. So, um, make sure that if you're watching this on YouTube, that you subscribe, hit the bell or whatever it is so that you are notified when we put out the next one, we put it out every Wednesday also on Spotify, Apple, uh, cast box. I mean, all, all of those types of things, or you can go to our website and we have Buzzsprout available there. So yeah. You can yeah. All these right are there. on our website. So we post them. Um, there's a player on there. So the L O code.com and you can go to the podcast section and see all of the, um, the podcasts up there. And we also have a bunch of, uh, freebies on there as well. So if you need help with any of your marketing video, um, there's all kinds of great things. And then we have, uh, the video editing that we do for a lot of people and we have the master class. There's a lot of cool stuff a lot, yeah, that we've, we've really been building built up a lot. So we've, we've put a lot of time and effort into this. So thanks for watching this episode and we'll see you on the next one.